Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch with a quick follow-up on a story from last week. So last week, a company called AppLovin tried to buy Unity. Yes, Unity, the makers of the Unity game engine. Uh, the deal valued Unity at $17.5 billion, but AppLovin wasn't actually going to give them $17.5 billion. Instead, they were going to kind of merge the two companies and they would value the shares in terms of the future ownership at $58.85 a share, which equates to $17.5 billion. At the end of this, the Unity shareholders would have actually controlled the majority of the company. However, they would have had a minority or 49% of the voting rights, and they would have stuck with their CEO because, hey, that's working so well so far. Um, so that was the offer for the merger here. And the reason why this was actually kind of relevant is because Unity are currently in the process of merging with a company called Iron Source, which does the same sort of thing that AppLovin does. They just do it with a much worse reputation. Uh, so basically, AppLovin came along and said, hey, Merge with us instead of them. Call that deal off. Merge with us. Here's the terms we would give you. Well, the reason why we were talking about this today is Unity called back and said, no, not going to do it. Ain't going to happen. It doesn't value the company sufficiently. Uh, they were going to go ahead with their merger agreement with Iron Source, which, by the way, if they'd broken out of that, that would cost a couple hundred million dollars as a standard exit fee. That's just kind of the way the world works. Uh, so they announced today that its board of directors has completed a thorough financial and strategic evaluation of the unsolicited proposal from AppLovin with the assistance of outside financial and legal advisors and has unanimously determined that it is not in the best interest of Unity shareholders and would not reasonably be expected to result in a superior proposal as defined in Unity's merger agreement with Iron Source. So they just don't think this deal is better. Coming from their CEO, everybody's favorite person, uh, the board continues to believe that the Iron Source transaction is compelling and will deliver an opportunity to generate long-term value through the creation of a unique end-to-end -end platform that allows creators to develop, publish, run, monetize, and grow live games and real-time 3D content seamlessly. We will remain committed to enthusiastic about Unity's agreement with Iron Source and the substantial benefits it will create for our shareholders and Unity creators. So combining uh, Unity and Iron Source will form the industry's first end-to-end, -end, obviously this is Unity writing this still, so uh, grain of salt, end-to-end -end platform to power creator success as they build, run, manage, grow, and monetize live games and real-time 3D content across their life cycle. Um, the transaction will drive better economic outcomes for customers by bringing together Unity, game engine, and editor Unity ads in the rest of the UGS with Iron Source best-in-class mediation and publishing platforms, which is kind of interesting because there's a lot of overlap between this and this. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens, which ones win, who gets laid off, that kind of stuff. Uh, combined company is expected to generate a run rate of $1 billion in adjusted EBITDA uh, by the end of 2024, and the combination is expected to generate $300 million in annual synergies by um, year three. Uh, synergies almost always means uh, redundancies or, you know, things we can get rid of. Uh, in connection with the merger, Unity Board of Directors has authorized a 24-month share buyback program of up to $2.5 billion effective upon closing of the merger. And Unity shareholder Silver Lake in Sequo um, Sequoia, Sequoia? Uh, have fully committed to purchase an aggregate of $1 billion in convertible notes from Unity at closing, demonstrating their belief in the value creation potential of the merger. So basically, their backers are going to pump some more money into it. Uh, you do a share buyback, it generally pushes up the price of the shares, sometimes in a somewhat artificial way. And then the ultimate question is, so uh, when Unity says no to a deal like this, they're now a publicly traded company, that means that their shares are well traded. So people respond. How did the world respond to Unity saying no to app loving? Oh, well, their shares dropped by 7%. Uh, so yeah, there was that. Um, the, the, the market apparently doesn't really like it. Now, again, some of that, their, their shares actually went up uh, in the meantime because of the offering. So in some ways, you're just erasing those gains. Uh, so Unity shares climbed more than 10% after the announcement, closing at 55. Stock jumped another 78 on Friday uh, before retreating on Monday at close to 54.30. So realistically, they're actually still up from this. So they actually should owe AppLove in a bit of a thank you note because it actually gave some life to their shares. Um, and, and in the end, it kind of did gain a bit, but the market does seem to either the market built in, they liked what App Levin was doing, and then when they said no to it, they kind of took that built in back, or um, people just don't like the answer. It's I'm not a financial guy, so I, I can't tell you either way. All I can tell you is App Levin tried to merge with Unity while well, Unity was merging with Iron Source, so uh, Unity had to pick which spouse it wanted to go to the ball with, and it picked. Iron Source. Uh, so AppLovin's AppLovin share also took a kick today. Uh, it's down five or ten percent as last I saw. So uh, not great for them. Um, 
And you know what? The from a perspective of what I saw in, in comments and responses to the merger in the first place, uh, people seem to have a lot more regard for AppLove and stupid name or not, and then they do for IronSource. IronSource has a pretty negative reputation in the industry, whereas AppLove actually seem to have a pretty solid uh, amount of support behind it. So it'd be interesting to see how this turns out. If it matters, I, I honestly don't know. I, I don't think either one really would have made much of a difference. The only thing I find disturbing in both of these. As you can see, Unity is less of a game company and more and more of a ad company, and I don't like that. And I know a lot of you don't like that either, but that was going to be the case either way. So let me know what you think. Comments down below. I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.